Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, well, we're back to vlogging again. So why don't you join me as uh, I take a walk to the store and um, also start doing things around the house. Um, you're gonna see a little bit of what Christian's up to. You're gonna see a little bit of what I'm up to. You're gonna just see a day in the life, you know, as uh, as we do with all these vlogs. So without further ado, let's uh, let's get to walking. We have a lot of things to do. It's gonna be a long day. Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. Today, we're back to vlogging. Um, I know last episode, I put a little bit of a rerun, you know, talking about Mexico, the president, and all this other stuff. Um, something that I put on my travel channel, and I just decided to let me share it with you on this channel since, uh, you know, I still hadn't uh, made any content since uh, I literally just got back from my trip. What trip? Well, I just came back from two trips, you know? Um, the first trip, um, which I came back from not too long ago, was uh, to Oaxaca. Man, you know what I mean? Uh, in fact, today's video on my regular channel, um, by the time you're watching this, um, it would already be um, uploaded. So the first real episode of uh, me and Christian, uh, you know, in Oaxaca, hanging out in Oaxaca, and doing all that Oaxacan awesomeness, is dropping today so by the time you're watching this you know you can go check that out on my other channel if you like some of the travel stuff and all that good stuff i dropped a monster of an episode 50 minutes yeah that's right 50 minutes of me and christian walking around uh you know oaxaca and doing all kinds of cool stuff so go check it out guys <laughs> now um i just came back from another trip this one was from last night um yeah basically um I was about to do the podcast with uh, Mr. Tim, you know, uh, my partner in the whole podcasting situation over there. And um, I had a few hours to kill. I talked about it more in the podcast. You know, you guys can go check that out if you want to hear the whole story. But yeah, long story short, <laughs> long story short. Uh, yeah, I basically went, uh, you know, went on a trip. I, I decided to, you know, go on a DMT trip. <laughs> You know, a few hours before the podcast, I honestly had no idea it was going to be so crazy and so intense, but holy shit, man, that was fun. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm not going to get too deep into that, you know what I mean? Uh, well, maybe we'll talk about it later, but you guys already know, this is like the new little format that we're doing here where it's just me walking and talking, but nothing specific, just about what's on my head and all that good stuff. So yeah, it's already early March. I already got the sun beating down on me. Here, check it out. No shadow, no shade, no nothing anywhere. And I'm, of course, wearing the blackest shirt I got. So, you already know. Perfect, uh, great planning there on my part. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, today, what we're basically doing is that I had to go to the store. I was going to go on my bike and stuff like that. But I realized I needed to buy a few things, the heavy things. And I probably had to take an Uber, taxi, whatever, back. So, I was like, all right, I got to walk. I'm not in the mood to walk, especially in this heat. And especially again, after my long ass trip last night, um, I'm pretty tired and pretty exhausted. But um, with that being said, you know, regardless, you know what I mean? I said, fuck it, let me pick up the camera. Let me do a quick little video. And I got a lot of stuff going on today, so might as well start filming it. So one of the things that I gotta do is I gotta, you know, go to the grocery store, but in the grocery store, um, the grocery store is in the mall, and in the mall, there's a ATM, so I gotta go to the ATM to get some money. For what? Well, I got a friend of mine out there. He's actually moving back to his country of origin. Long story, I'm not gonna get into that. Um, he ha not that he wants to move, trust me, he wants to stay here, but um, he has to move. He has some family issues he has to take care of, and uh, he's selling some of his stuff. And so he's like, hey, you want some of this stuff? So I looked at it, I'm like, fuck yeah, I need some of that stuff. And so that's it. Well, some of the stuff I'm gonna buy is like, I need a new monitor. Um, so I can edit the videos a lot better and um, some headphones, you know, because I keep breaking all the headphones I got. So he had some really, really good headphones and barely used them. Like, all right, I'll take those as well. So I got to go get some cash. Oof, man, I'm hot and I'm out of shape. Okay. Anyways, so, and I lost my rag. I lost my sweat rag. I got to buy a new one. But anyway, so I'm going to do that and then I got to buy some groceries because I got to buy milk eggs you know just a few you know basic items you know what i mean soap dog food you know things like that that i gotta buy and uh you know definitely gizmo needs to eat and stuff like that so you know that's basically what i'm doing today nothing crazy um so i mean later on I'll, I'll, I'll show you uh the monitor i'll show you all that 
Also, um, it seems like uh, Mr. President out there is gonna be giving us uh, Americans some more money. Um, seems like we have $1,400 heading our way, so great, perfect timing, because again, I need a new computer. I've been telling you guys, I've been talking to you guys for this for a while. I've been wanting to buy a new computer ever since like Christmas. Thank God I waited um, for a lot of reasons, you know? Because honestly, you know what I mean? I was gonna use my, my Bitcoin and uh, things like that. And uh, man, that would have really been a really expensive uh, um, computer if I would have bought my uh, computer with my Bitcoin, uh, you know, back, back in December, right? So good thing I waited. Now that computer is on sale. The same exact computer that I want. Um, what computer am I getting? Well, I'm gonna get one of those new Mac M1s. Now, I know a lot of you guys have, you know, this is not what you guys wanna, you guys don't know much about this. Um, I'm a bit of a computer geek, give or take. I am not an Apple guy, I hate Apple. But it's only because they've fallen off. They used to be really good, and now they're good again. You know, they fell off, they were sucking for a while, and now they're good again. Why? Well, because they stopped relying on other manufacturers out there to make chips for them, and they started to make their own chip. Hence, the M1 chip. And so this M1 chip, Basically, all I got to say is this. Um, the best way I can describe it to everybody, we're back in the day. You remember when the first iPhone came out, AKA the first smartphone came out and everybody else had either the Nokia big brick or the flip phone, you know, the Razor, the Razor, <laughs> Razor, the Razor. <laughs> By the way, that Razor was awesome. I used to love that. Um, that was one of my favorite phones. Uh, but as I was saying, um, yeah, we're in that point in time again now where, you know, um, the new M1 uh, chip technology is like the brand new technology that's already, with the first integration of the first generation of the chip, it's already blowing out of the water the most expensive hardcore chips on the market. So I was like, wow, you know what I mean? And so I don't want to get too deep into it. You guys can do your own research, but yeah, long story short, um, I'm going to get me one of those. I was going to wait till like the second generation, maybe wait a little longer, but... You know what whatever man i just i need the computer now and one of the main selling points to this chip is the fact that it just uses this really really awesome new technology basically a technology we have on our phones and stuff and it reduces overheating by a lot and so you guys know um it's a crazy hot okay i'm literally sweating through the oldies out here um you can only imagine how hot my computer gets you know literally i can fry an egg on top of it for reals so with this new chip, with this new technology, I'll be able to have my computer running full blast and it's, probably, and it's most likely gonna be cooler than the environment around it because that's part of the technology. So, you know, just many things like that on top of the fact that it's a, a lot faster than anything out there and yada, yada, yada. And uh, basically the computer configuration I wanna get is like around 1400 bucks, which is around the same price as the stimulus check. Um, I just need a monitor, which I'm getting today. And that's it, you know what I mean? So basically, as soon as that check hits my account, I'm getting a new computer. I need a new computer, so thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Mr. Biden, you know? <laughs> Which, by the way, you know, I don't want to get into all that, you know what I mean? Like, I give a crap. Doesn't matter if The Undertaker sent it. Might as well have been, you know, <laughs> fucking, you know? The Undertaker sending me a check, but, or Hulk Hogan or whatever, but <laughs> yeah, it's another story for another day. You know, regardless. Uh, and then, you know, we got some other people out there talking about their... You know, we're probably going to get more stimulus checks, more money, more whatever. Ah, eh, I believe it when I see it. And I still don't believe this one. You know what I mean? Until we see it, you know? So, who the hell knows? Who the hell cares anymore? I don't live there anymore, you know? But speaking of, uh, you know, speaking of money and speaking of, uh, you know, cost and stuff like that. You know, one thing, you know, one thing I did realize, you know, from my Oaxacan trip was the fact that I thought Merida was actually one of the cheapest places to live and I'm quickly finding out it's actually one of the most expensive places to live. Now, this whole new ex like expensive place to live, that's kind of like a new thing. And I'm, by the way, I'm going to be covering this extensively on the travel channel, talking more about that. Um, but yeah, you know, like recently, again, just from the trip, just from, you know, the, just traveling a little bit around and doing some more research on the rest of Mexico, like, fuck, wait a minute. Merida is actually turning into one of the most expensive places in all of Mexico, when it used to be pretty cheap, now it's getting to be one of the most expensive. Now, 
don't be going crazy out there you know if you're coming from the u.s or you're coming from uh you know um any other part of the world you know what i mean basically you know again europe u.s canada it's still cheap it's still cheap it's still crazy cheap no matter where the hell you are and that's what you know at the end of the day it's not a big deal and I get some of that chicken one of these days. Every time I come here and she's uh, grilling those chickens, it always reminds me of, uh, you know, going to the beach as a kid. You know, you gotta grill that chicken, right? On the beach and all that good stuff, so. But anyways, whew, man, it's hot and humid out today, for real. But yeah, you know, so like, you know, today, you know, we're just walking around. What do we talk about already? The computer, we talked about a few things. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna be doing some more traveling, you know, we're gonna be planning some traveling. Uh, I think the next spot we're going is Chiapas, San Cristobal uh, de las Casas. I think that's maybe where we're gonna go next. <clears throat> so stay tuned for that. Oh, we gotta plan it. Again, I still gotta edit all the Oaxaca videos. I got like uh, over 10 hours to edit. Um, and a lot of, I got like a lot of content coming up. Uh, I already got a bunch of videos that I want to film, you know, um, talking about certain topics, you know, and all this other good stuff. So I got a lot, a lot, a lot of content. Um, in fact, you know, that's why I'm recording right now because the, the content I'm kind of missing is I haven't really been able to make any content for my regular channel. And even though sometimes I'll post videos on, you know, either or channel, you get what I'm saying? Um, you know, I want, I want to keep each channel specific, you know, to whatever. So this is, you know, my vlog, you know, me walking around, talking, you know, sharing my life. Um, you know, that's what I've always wanted to do with this channel. Um, we got the travel channel, talking about all the cool travel stuff and all that, you know, exciting, you know, fun stuff over there. We got the vlog, I mean, not the vlog, uh, sorry, the podcast, <clears throat> which I'm filming for. Um, you know, we did uh, the podcast last night and all that good stuff. Again, like I said, I went on a special DMT trip, you know, just to make the podcast extra special. <laughs> Actually, you know, the, <clears throat> the whole trip was something completely different. Um, man, yeah, yeah, long story short, holy shit. You know, I died and came back to life, all right? It was awesome, it was really interesting. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for this, uh, this person here to walk in front of me let her give her the right away she keeps looking at me because i don't got my thing on I'm getting all paranoid so i was like let them zoom ahead <laughs> so yeah you know right now the main reason why you know me and christian and things like that are looking you know to go elsewhere um not to say that we are you know what i mean we don't know yet you know it's just a touch and go it's because of that you know what i mean just the fact that you know everyone here in this city in this area is still very you know, they just want more lockdown. They want more restrictions. They want more of these uh, insane uh, things. And uh, I don't want that, you know what I mean? We've already been to other parts of Mexico where it's open and free <clears throat> and everything is great. And so that's what I'm gonna do. Now, I could have gone into the mall through there. I'm gonna go around. As much as I want the AC, I gotta film a little bit more. So I gotta go around in order to film. You follow? Um, <clears throat> because I don't wanna be, <clears throat> talking and walking in the mall because I know I will get in trouble. They hate, they hate that. I don't know why they hate to film in malls. I really, I never get that. But they hate when you film in malls and that's pretty much all across the world for whatever reason. But anyways, so, you know, as soon as I, you know, get to the store, I'm gonna do my little shopping, you know, go to the ATM, do all that. Then I'm gonna get home. And then once I get home, I gotta start editing because I gotta edit the second, third episode. <clears throat> and there's another reason why I need to, you know get a new computer as well and like i just have to do it already enough is enough because it's like when i was um processing is after you edit the video you got to process it basically you know processing is like the cooking in the oven you know what i mean so i once i cook it you know what i mean like the whole cooking process depending on the computer takes a long time so right now to you know uh, cook you know um to cook my um, my 50 minute 4k video it took almost eight hours so i gotta leave that shit overnight so i was like man you know it's a pain in the ass all right so trying to avoid that and therefore you know what i mean like again it's all it's all about getting the computer you know what i mean just to you know enhance my life and um and and uh make sure that i can you know keep making quality videos and not get frustrated you know what i mean just because uh, i can't process a video fast enough you know and things like that and especially since we're not moving out to the middle of nowhere anymore, that the plan has uh, kind of like, you know, we scrapped that plan and uh, we're trying to figure out what the next, you know, plan is, you know, what, what our next action is, you know what I mean? 
Now we know we're gonna be traveling all over. We're gonna be doing a lot of traveling and all that good stuff. So while we do that, we'll figure out where we go. Assuming we end up, you know what I mean? Uh, we end up going somewhere else or staying here. We don't know, we'll find out together. But, you know, again, with, with now the knowledge that, you know, there's so much more, you know, land out there. There's so much more, you know, um, again, inexpensive uh, ways of living out there. You know, there's better environment, you know? Because again, you know, <laughs> you guys have already heard me complain about the environment here where it's a lot of expats here good and bad you know a lot of expats again that are trying to change the narrative and turn this into the usa i don't want that you know that's the reason i live here because i don't want to live in the usa i don't want that kind of life you know i want to live a very different kind of life and so that very different kind of life is still in existence all over mexico so it's all about you know going out there again even going to oaxaca you know like my man that was amazing so all right guys well i'm here i'm at the entrance basically so I gotta put my face mask on. I gotta go in, I gotta do some shopping and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Um, maybe I'll catch you guys, you know, in the store or maybe, you know, we'll talk when I get to, uh, you know what I mean? When I get to, um, what was I gonna, when I get back home and I show you what the hell I'm doing home. So, all right guys, I'll see you in a bit. Oh man, do I have a story for you guys. So basically, as soon as I turned my camera off and I looked up, I had a fucking security guard looking at me right in the face and basically saying, hey, you can't be filming here. And I'm like, what the fuck do you mean? You know, I'm not in the mall. Of course I can film out here. You know what I mean? This is not your, you know, I'm not in the mall. You know what I mean? I understand that, you know, you can say that to me, you know, within the mall, I get that. Private property, yada, yada, yada. But you can't, he goes, oh no, but you can't, you know, film here because we can't allow you to be filming, you know, with your mask off while you're on our property. And I'm like, bro, you're just a fucking thing. security guard. He goes, yeah, I'm a security guard. So, you know, I'm here to tell you that you can't do this and do that. And I'm like, no, bro, it's not against the law. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. In fact, do you want me to call the cop over there and see what he has to say about it? Oh yeah, go ahead and call him. Let's call him. And then he's like, oh no, I got people behind me. And so basically pushing me in, but he's like, well, you can't be filming. Better not be filming. And I'm going to go, bro, what the fuck are you going to do about it if I'm filming? What are you going to do? What's the manager going to do? What are they going to do? The only thing they can do is tell me to stop filming. That's it. And you know that, and I know that. So stop trying to fucking intimidate me and scare me. You're not going to fucking do anything, all right? And that's it. And so that's basically where we're at. So, you know, FYI, you know what I mean? Like, I hope um, I don't get kicked out of this mall or the store or anything like that. But again, another reason to, you know, why I'm, I'm looking, me and Christian are looking for other places because I'm not going to allow, you know, um, the corporate takeover, you know, to keep taking over my life. You know, again, that's why I left the U.S. and first world country to begin with. You know what I mean? That's why I loved about Oaxaca. I didn't have to deal with that. In fact, all the Walmarts and all the big box stores, you know, they were separate and they were dealing with uh, all the all that stuff. And then, uh, you know, basically the rest of the city where everybody was living, living, you know, um, small businesses, everything was small business everywhere. It wasn't a problem. So, yeah, left, definitely left a sour taste in my mouth. I did not want to be talking about this or filming about this. But, you know, again, I'm just telling you about my day and what happened. And uh, I had a, a confrontation with somebody out here. Just like a lot of people are having confrontations with security guards and cops about the stupidest shit out here. And again, you know, they're having a bit too much power because they, they're not... They're not being told to relinquish any power. In fact, they're, get, they're getting more and more power and the people are getting less and less power. And so again, that guy felt in, entitled and empowered to come at me, you know, straight at me and yell at me outside of the mall that I can't be filming outside of the mall. I'm like, bro, go fuck yourself. You know what I mean? Like, are you kidding me right now? Who the fuck are you to tell me? If a cop can't tell me not to film, you sure as hell can. See, look, that's, that's how loud I was, the camera fell. <laughs> that's how hot my, my breath is. But yeah, interesting, right? Very, very interesting. And again, of course, not only am I filming, but I'm gonna show you everything. Um, again, I couldn't show you that confrontation because obviously I couldn't film that, but very interesting, very funny. And um, how, how you know, to me, it's, it's just very, you know, how again, how they're now trying to just, you know, again, tell me or tell others, you know, they can't film or they can't do anything. You know what I mean? So it's like, not liking it. All right, I gotta get to shopping. I got a lot of dog food I gotta buy. Talk to you later. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm already done with uh, some of my groceries, as you guys can see. And I'm just waiting for my Didi, uh, not my Uber, um, to take me home. And I'm standing literally right in front of uh, the entrance of the, the mall that you guys see me, you know, here all the time. And literally the, the guy is right behind me, you know, the security guard that I was talking to you about. And it's like, again, you know, I want him to say something in a sense. It's like, I know he can't say anything. And if he can't, it's only a suggestion. It's only a whatever. 
All right, we'll finish that later. My battery is running out. And like I already, if you guys don't already know, I'm having problems with my GoPro batteries. And so I ordered some more and they're on their way in the mail. So in the meantime, so yeah, I'm gonna have to wait till I get home so I can finish the conversation. See you guys in a little bit. All right, well, I'm back home and I just wanted to finish my thoughts on what I was saying before I kept getting rudely interrupted by my battery dying. But yeah, long story short, as you saw, I was filming again in front of the mall literally a few feet from the guy and um you could probably not see it but after i stopped filming and i was looking over there that guy didn't even want to make eye contact with me in fact he kept kind of going inside the mall and yada 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 and that's it you know what i mean at the end of the day what's happening is that you know all across the world and in certain parts of mexico is no different this is one of them in which you know the people are just laying down taking it and then allowing anyone anyone in any kind of position of power to literally you know tell them what to do and then they just sit there and take it and then they get upset you know the people that are telling you what to do they get upset when you actually stand up for your rights now the thing is and in some parts of the world you know you stand up for your rights and they're going to quickly remind you you know what i mean well, why you shouldn't do that you know and you already know i'm not going to get into all the details but in a place like here in mexico it's like i know not only do i know my rights but i know what happens if you actually violate my rights all right so go ahead and violate them and so you know him just trying to you know convince me or intimidate me into not filming outside of the mall is not going to work you know what i mean I, I need to see some signs that say um, no filming i need to have an actual police officer say hey listen you cannot film here and these are the reasons why i need someone a representative from the actual mall somebody of real power someone that actually runs the fucking joint to tell me and even then they can only say so much i mean i understand that i can't film inside you know certain areas certain places you know like a bank or you know certain areas there's just plenty of places but i know where i can film i've been doing this for a long time and i know for a fact that i can film outside even though i'm in a, some sort of private property in uh you know in a private parking lot the reality is is that i can still film there i am outside and the most that they can do is is tell me that i can't and then it's up to me whether i want to continue filming or not but the reality is is the most that they can do is just kick me off the property all right or again can or just never allow me back on the property or again just suggest that i not film but that's it that's as far as it can go at the end of the day there is no law whatsoever um that says i cannot film and again if there is a special rule regulation or anything like that for that private property which there there could be it's totally fine and i have to respect that well then it has to be posted around and it's not posted around you know just because that guy did not like me walking around filming without my mask on while everybody else is, uh, has their mask on that has no reason that has no authority and he has no authority to tell me what to do or whether he likes it or not and it's as simple as that because again like i said when i told him go call the cops he did not want to call the cops because he knew better he knew where that was going to end and he didn't want to look even stupider all right so that's basically it and i just had to like at least vent a little bit because just from the video that i made just a few episodes ago about know your rights you know know your mexican rights you know again you know uh, and it seems like in this area of mexico um you know the cops and security guards and anyone like that with a little bit of power is just you know they're they're trying to exercise it you know further than they have a right to exercise them in and that's it you know i literally had another friend in another part of northern uh, merida um get stopped by a cop for nothing for just taking a wrong turn and they were trying to treat him like they would treat him in the u.s and he had to call me in the middle of the night and you know we had to deal with that and basically they had to let him go because the cop cannot do anything they want to impound his bike his motorcycle they wanted to do all kinds of horrible things to him i'm like no 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 that guy's just trying to extort you that guy's just trying to scare you that guy's just trying to whatever as long as you stand there know your rights and you know you have a civil conversation with the guy at the end of the day there's nothing he can do and if he does arrest you it's his ass all he can do is threaten you and maybe you know again scare you to the point where you give him some money or give up your bike or you just give up your rights but the reality is is that that's where it really ends you know it's up to you whether you give up your rights or not you know they that's why in the u.s you see people getting their rights literally ripped and stripped away in canada and australia and on Aust you know in uh, europe and things like that where they're literally getting stripped away you know they know the people know that they have rights and uh, or at least they think they do until they're reminded that they don't but in a country like this we still have some rights we definitely still have rights all right and so yeah i gotta exercise them like it or not so all right i just wanted to segue into that now i gotta put away the groceries 
I gotta do a few things. I'm gonna see, uh, you know, what else I get done in the meantime. And you know, I guess you'll join me for the rest of the day. You know, so far it's been a pretty long day. So hope you guys are enjoying uh, hanging out with me today. So here's one of Christian's uh, little experiments. Look at this, she's turned uh, the kitchen into her own little experimental uh, laboratory. Look at that. So basically she's, this is some weird mixture with chemicals and there's like a gel. I don't know, she explained it to me. It's hard to understand. It's, I understand it in Spanish, but not trying to translate it to English. I realize, oh man, it's gonna be difficult. But anyways, long story short, she's just making some thing, right? Sorry, I got in your way. And now she's gonna put like some uh, like cloth, as you guys can see here, over that, and then eventually it'll come out like this. So this is like an experiment. I think she already has another one that she made. Oh, okay, okay, so they're outside. Let me show you real quick. But just to show you what's going on here, so you know we're all working doing stuff oh it's raining outside jesus okay it's not out here somewhere where is it oh they're hanging over there here, hold on i'll get wet for you guys oh <laughs> all right yeah there you go okay so basically she throws it on top of that and then it turns into to that and then it just stays on there forever so yeah basically what she's doing is that she is <clears throat> You know doing some experiments and doing some uh some homework you know basically because she has a new client a new project you know a major project you know she's going to help uh you know um, with the renovation of a brand of, a, of an older restaurant that's trying to you know get modern and so part of all that is um they they want to you know literally fix up all the um decor you know and so she's you know got hired you know or is in is in the process of helping the guys that run the place um you know have like a uh, you know again set up a mural have some sort of a interactive uh you know table you know for the people that go have coffee and have things there and just a bunch of other things so yeah again i know i'm butchering the hell out of it but <laughs> but you get it she's just doing art okay and she has a client and that's it you know what i mean so because a lot of people ask me it's like oh what what does christian do She's like me, you know, literally. She's doing a million things at a time. So while she's doing that, she's also, you know, has other clients, other works, other whatever. But, you know, right now she's in the process of uh, learning how to do this. Oh, look, and there it is. She's about, she just put that, that cloth on there. She's about to take it off, All right? Moment of truth. See how it comes out. Look at that. Cool. So again, you know, she's, you know, she's practicing, she's, you know, working on it, but, and then she has to wash it off and then it just stays there forever. So yeah, you see, like it just, the image stays. So it's, it's kind of like that coffee art, you know what I mean? Where you're, you're doing the, the latte art, you know what I mean? Where you're doing all the little stuff on top of the coffee. Right, right. 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 Y es un es una técnica se de, que se deriva del ebru, que es una técnica turca que okay. es pintar sobre el agua prácticamente. Okay, so there you go. So basically, it's a Turkish um, technique, you know, very very old, and it's just painting over water. You guys have seen similar. Sim no, it's it's, la, yeah, it's la, similar. La, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and, and she's also like kind of creating something new from from all these techniques. You know, basically, if you guys know, if you guys have seen, sometimes where they get like a like a hat or a shoe and they dip it in some water or, or you know what I mean, like this or actually something like this, but with paint. And then you see, look how it comes out. Ta-da, look at that. And so imagine like a whole tablecloth like that. You feel me? So, you know, she's working on things like that. Yeah, yeah, and it looks like coffee, you know? So, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, like, so, yeah, basically she's using a bunch of other techniques and trying to create something new as well, you know, for the client, for what's coming up. But yeah, like, like I was saying, you know, like those um, videos of the people that, you know, they'll get like a hat or a shoe and they'll dip it in that, that weird concoction or mixture with paint on top. And then when they, when the shoe or the hat or whatever comes out, it has like that weird uh, psychedelic look or the color or something like the paint just sticks to that. Okay, so that's something similar to what she's doing. It's that 
and then you know the coffee thing and then you know just the turkish thing and just many 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 things so that's what's going on in the kitchen right now and in fact i got like a bunch of dishes that i gotta wash <laughs> i got dinner to make but again she's like busy in the middle of something right now and I'm, I'm also waiting for for the guy to come with uh you know with the monitor so i gotta check on him see when he's coming and that's it i'm just trying to figure out you know my day now i gotta see what i'm gonna do in the sense of like should i edit should i take a shower should i start cooking yada 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 so yeah that's it so i just wanted to show you a little bit more about what's going on in my house and in my in my day and then yeah once uh, the monitor gets here and we do all that and like i'll show you because i want to show you that too and uh, and that's it and i'll show you a little bit more about me editing and uh, i'll show you gizmo you got gizmo out there ignoring me hey hey Franco. hey <laughs> Yeah, he's chasing some cats and uh you know it was getting in trouble with me because i kept telling him not to go outside because it was raining and you know it's funny he doesn't want to he hates to take a shower or a bath but he loves to go out in the rain go figure <laughs> anyways all right <laughs> so yeah check it out check it out guys so cool science that's the new monitor guys Look at that. We got Christian over here checking it out. <laughs> but yeah, so I got the monitor in. We already hooked it up. It's working. All right. I can't wait to get the new computer. I also got some awesome cool colors. Look at this. So the guy, my friend, also gave me a bunch of these with the monitor. How cool is that? Shout out to you, bro. And now that we're in here, look at that. I got a brand new printer. I know I got it's in the middle of all his dirty clothes and we got a lot of cleaning to do, but... We got a brand new printer. Shout out to you out there. Well, I don't know if you want me to mention your name or not, but anyways, look at that. Dude, that's the old printer we had. This thing barely worked. And uh, now we got a brand new printer to go along with it. I'm in here in Christian's studio, in case uh, you guys weren't aware. But yeah, everything seems to be you know going along great so far. Um, Christian's taking a little break from you know doing what she's doing over here. I gotta do these dishes and I gotta do a little cooking. We got Gizmo out there, you know, just relaxing. Actually, he's not relaxing. He's actually hard at work looking for cats. Look, let's uh, look at his point of view. He's like trying to, trying to get those cats. Let's see him, let's see him do it. <laughs> and then this is uh, more of uh, what Christian was doing, you see? What I showed you earlier. It's coming along very nicely. Cool, right? Got another one over there. And that's it. You know, we're just out here showing you a day in the life. So, all right, guys, I think that's it. You know what I mean? I, I literally got to do some dishes. I got to cook some dinner. Um, and I also have to edit this video so I can upload it. And hopefully you guys can watch it tomorrow, if not the next day, depending on how much I get done um, in time. Um, and that's it, guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Um, day in the life, you know what I mean? I, I know you guys are liking the, this kind of content. I'm enjoying making this kind of content. And this is only the beginning. We're going to be making way more of this uh, content uh, going forward. Also, I don't know if you noticed. Uh, again, you remember, I, I came out here with like a backpack. Um, and now look at all the stuff I had. I, I mean, I'm basically talking to Christian about all that. You know what I mean? Like how much crap. And especially since we moved in this house, how much stuff we've already accumulated. But at the same time, it's like, well, we already know, you know, we have a plan, you know, going forward. You know, not only are we going to be traveling, but we're going to be checking out other other places that we might end up calling home in the future. Um, whether it's Oaxaca, whether it's Chiapas, whether it's who knows, okay, who knows. But definitely, we already know what we're looking for. We're basically looking for peace. We're looking for some peace, some quiet, to have a home you know to have you know space to have studio to do you know all kinds of things so that not only can i get not only so i can do my work but for so christian can do her work in peace and so that gizmo can also enjoy you know being a dog and all that comes with that so that's all i got to say i think that we're gonna end the episode here so guys you already know what to do if you like this kind of content don't forget to please like please subscribe please share please hit that bell like on but more importantly than anything else stay awesome Thanks again for watching, and uh, again, please check out my other channel so you can see all the Oaxaca videos, all right? You're already going to be behind on two videos by the time you're watching this. So um, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. We got the supervisor here hard at work. 
This is definitely gonna help with the editing a lot more. Hell yeah, I'm very excited. Very excited. Can't you tell?